here in this place new light is streaming now is the darkness vanished away see in this space our fears and our dreamings brought here to you in the light of this day gather us in the lost and forsaken gather us in the blind and the lame Call to us now and we shall awaken, we shall arise at the sound of our name. We are the young, our lives are a mystery, we are the old who yearn for your face. We have been sung throughout all of history, called to be light to the whole human race. Gather us in the rich and the haughty, gather us in the proud and the strong. Give us a heart so meek and so lowly, give us the courage to enter the song. Here we will take the wine and the water, here we will take the bread of new birth. Here you shall call your sons and your daughters, call us anew to be salt for the earth. Give us to drink the wine of compassion, give us to eat the bread that is you. Nourish us well and teach us to fashion eyes that are holy and hearts that are true. Not in the dark of buildings confining, not in some heaven light years away, but here in this place the new light is shining, now is the kingdom, now is the day. Gather us in and hold us forever, gather us in and make us your own. Gather us in, all peoples together, fire of love in our flesh and our bone. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. We've been uh, blessed today to have uh, many events going on at the parish today, or our St. Norbert Classic going on in the field today. So if you want a hamburger or hot dog after Mass, Go on over there for a quick little meal tonight. Wonderful football going on for our, for our, for our Catholic schools today. We've, we had two weddings here today. We've had lots of going on events here today. And so uh, that's why I want to say, hi, Mom. Love you. Glad you're here. Glad you're watching with us tonight. All those on our live stream who join us at home as they're unable to join us in our church for Mass, we gather as a community of faith, as we always do, we begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. My dear friends, as we gather this evening, let us place ourselves in God's loving presence, call to mind our sins, as we prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. 
Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen, Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, shout with joy for Jacob, exult at the head of the nations, proclaim your praise and say, the Lord has delivered his people, the remnant of Israel. Behold, I will bring them back from the land of the north. I will gather them from the ends of the world with the blind and the lame in their midst. The mothers and those with child, they shall return as an immense throng. They departed in tears, but I will console them and guide them. I will lead them to brooks of water on a level road so that none shall stumble. For I am a father to Israel, Ephraim, is my firstborn. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. And they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. 
Restore our fortunes, O oh Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those that sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, every high priest is taken from among men and made their representative before God to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal patiently with the ignorant and erring, for he himself is beset by weakness, and so, for this reason, must make sin offerings for himself as well as for the people. No one takes this honor upon himself, but only when called by God, just as Aaron was. In the same way, it was not Christ who glorified himself in becoming high priest, but rather the one who said to him, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Just as he says in another place, You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Our Savior Jesus Christ destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a sizable crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind man, the son of Timaeus, sat by the roadside begging. On hearing that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, call him. So they called the blind man, saying to him, Take courage, get up. Jesus is calling you. He threw aside his cloak, sprang up, and came to Jesus. Jesus said to him in reply, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man replied to him, Master, I want to see. 
Jesus told him, Go on your way. Your faith has saved you. Immediately he received his sight and followed him on the way. The gospel of the Lord. First of all, I want to congratulate the, um, let, as you know, those who are here from Mass last Saturday evening, we had the deacon class that was uh, preparing to be ordained, and they were ordained today. So I want to congratulate them for being on their ordination. If any of you are watching this or watch this later, we want to congratulate you. And it was a wonderful evening to, to, to host them as a parish of the previous class uh, of deacons hosting them for a dinner here we had last 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 uh, Saturday evening, which was a wonderful time to welcome, and I got a chance to really to um, congratulate them and give them some words of encouragement of uh, being 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 a pastor before and being a priest now for 23 years. Oh my gosh, wow! Um, but of being able to to say I've worked with deacons all the way through, and I'm very very blessed to work with deacons and. And their love for the church and their love of ministry in the church because them being on the altar is only a small part of what they do. They're involved in the community. They're involved in working uh, in the jails, in the, in the hospitals, and many other outreach programs for our church. So we congratulate them and welcome them uh, into ministry in a new way uh, today. But our, our gospel today, our readings today, really are ones that invite and challenge us to be disciples. Mark, in Mark's gospel today, the, the passage that we read from Mark's gospel today is at the end of really the, the, the accounts of, him, of Jesus calling his disciples to be of service. And here we encounter... Jesus coming upon a blind man who calls out to Jesus. Calls out to Jesus and says, Son of David. So he knows his history. He knows the lineage of Jesus and connects him to the history of the, of the, 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 of the, of the, um, Israelites all the way through to the time of Jesus, Jesus being the one sent by God, the one, the Son of God, sent into the world to redeem the world. Not just a prophet, but being the Son of God. So this blind man has this revelation, however that he was able to receive that, but reaches out to Jesus and says, Jesus, do for me something really extraordinary. Do for me something incredible. And Jesus asked, what do you want me to do for you? And he says, I want to see. As vocation director, I had the um, opportunity to work with a person that was discerning his vocation, discerning his call to be of service to the church, and he really felt that he was called to be a priest, but he was blind. And as I worked with him, nothing stopped him. Had a degree at UCLA, an undergraduate degree, got a master's degree at UCLA, was able to navigate the campus being blind with a seeing eye dog and with a cane. And so I knew nothing was going to stop this guy. He was totally able to do anything, but he wanted to see. But he knew he could not. 
He wanted that miracle in his life. But in his blindness, he revealed to me things that I could not see. I remember being with his family in his home, and it was a big, many people around, and there was many voices, and it was pretty crowded. And I got a little distracted. And so I was like listening over here and listening over there. And he said, Father John, if you don't want to, if you don't want to, you know, talk with me right now, that's okay. I'm like, wow. He knew I wasn't paying attention to him. He could hear the reflections of my voice and the sound of where my voice was coming from. And he really put me in my place. The gospel today challenges us to really focus in on being disciples for Christ. Of being attentive to where we are seeing and where we are hearing from. Our world is full of many voices. Our world is full of many images that can distract us from being followers of Christ. The blind man today wanted to see. He wanted to see, and he continued to follow the Lord, continued to follow Jesus on his mission and on his journey. For us, as we hear God's word, as we see God's action in our world, are we willing to follow him? Are we willing to stand up and to say, yes, Lord, do something for me. Do something for me today that will increase my faith and my love for you and challenge me to follow you even more closely. Today we come to receive the Lord's blessing, to receive the Lord's love, to hear him in Scripture and to receive him in the Eucharist, to nourish our souls as we go forth from here today. Say, Lord, I am more and more in love with you. I want you to truly transform my life that I may continue to follow you. Now together as a community of faith, let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate in the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. 
I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord has done great things for us. Trusting in God's infinite power, let us turn to Him with confidence as we give voice to the needs of our hearts. For the church, may all the faithful be filled with the light of Christ and reflect his compassion and mercy to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the healing of our nation, may the people of this land turn their hearts toward God and seek his will. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are estranged from their families, may they find solace in welcoming communities and be reconciled with those at home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those grieving the loss of a loved one, may their hearts be comforted and their tears be turned to joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who serve in parish ministries, may the Holy Spirit fill them and enable them to be true vessels of God's grace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in awareness of the dignity of human life from conception until natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those among us who are sick in body, mind, or spirit, for those listed in the parish bulletin, and especially Rick Erhard, Mike Chauvin, Maria Cardenas, Marcos Gutierrez, Bill Derham, Agrippina Silva, Patrick Azapardi, Roderick Cabrera, Mary Estrada, Rogelio Gonzalez Martinez, Alan Sebastian and family, and Ramel Paraan. May God comfort them and restore them to health. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Levon Cruz, Lorraine Fleming, Emmy Neri, Gloria Theret, George William Bullington, Renato Trujillo Ocampo, Lupita Miranda Ruiz, Donald Ridial, Wanda Ridial, and Alfredo Estrada. May they forever hold the splendor of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of Rosita and Jose Cabrera, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh God, we ask that you hear and give answer to our prayers. You who open the eyes of the blind man, open our eyes to see your perfect will. And we ask this in all things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Open my eyes, Lord, help me to see your face. Open my eyes, Lord, help me to see. Open my ears, Lord, help me to hear your voice. Open my ears, Lord. Help me to hear. Open my heart, Lord. Help me to love like you. Open my heart, Lord. Help me to love. I live within you, deep in your heart, O oh love, I live within you, 
rest now in me. Open my eyes, Lord, help me to see your face. Open my eyes, Lord, help me to see. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be pleasing and acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our, our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, 
and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the, the memorial of, your, of the death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy and Tan, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us now offer to each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
Miserere nobis, miserere nobis. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Miserere nobis, miserere nobis. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Dona nobis pacem, dona nobis Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your own, your holy people. Light for the world to see. Christ be our light, shine in our hearts. Shine through the darkness, Christ be our light. Shine in your church gathered today. Longing for peace, our world is troubled. Longing for hope, many despair. Your word alone has power to save us. Make us your living voice. Christ, be our light. Shine in our hearts. Shine through the darkness. Christ, be our light. Shine in your church gathered today. Longing for food, many are hungry. Longing for water, many still thirst. Make us your bread broken for others. Shared until all are fed. Christ be our light. Shine in our hearts. Shine through the darkness. Christ be our light. Shine in your church gathered today. Longing for shelter, many are homeless. Longing for warmth, many are cold. Make us your building, sheltering others. Walls made of living stone. Christ be our light. 
Shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ be our light, shine in your church gathered today. Many the gifts, many the people, many the hearts that yearn to belong. Let us be servants to one another, making your kingdom come. Christ be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ be our light, shine in your church gathered Today. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found. Was blind, but now I see. Twas grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear, the hour I first believed. The Lord has promised good to me, His word my hope secures. He will my shield and portion be as long as life endures. Through many dangers, toils, and snares, I have already come. Tis grace has brought me safe thus far, and grace will lead me home. When we bend there ten thousand years, bright shining as the sun, we've no less days to sing God's praise than when we first begun. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I believe there's a chef somewhere hanging out around here. I think his name is Joe, that he wants to invite us to something real special. Except we don't have a mic at the canter stand. There's no mic there. <laughs> Holy mother of pearl. Yeah. Might use the ambo? You want to come up the ambo? All the way, your, Joe. All the way across. Yeah. Yeah, come on up. Or around. Or through. All those prepositions. Aboard, about, around, around, through. I mean, yeah, come on up. <laughs> Good evening. Um, it's been a while since we've been able, been able to get together. 
but um, I'm the president of the Italian Catholic Federation here at St. Norbert's, and we decided to do a little event. It's called the Pasta to Go event, and that's going to be on November the 7th. Uh, Sunday, and we're going to be selling tickets. Uh, it includes a pasta dinner with two meatballs, homemade sauce, salad, and some garlic bread, and um, and that's all packaged in a little to-go container. Um, so we meet all the COVID things, I hope. But we hope to see you over there. We're selling tickets tonight, tomorrow, and next weekend, and it's fifteen dollars a person. And we hope that uh, you can join us and support us and also all of the, the parish uh, charities that we help support. Thank you very much. Great show. And we continue our Pennies from Heaven drive. Our Knights of Columbus have been gracious to, to help out this month to help support our Life Center. So if you brought your baby bottle back full of pennies or dollar bills, we'll, we'll be happy to take them. Or if you want to bring them back next week or Throughout the uh, week, the office will be open as well to receive your wonderful gifts and support of our life communities. And as I said as well, our St. Norbert Classic is going out in our field. And uh, there's a final game tonight at like 7 o'clock. If you like uh, uh, flag football, the B teams, they're doing a great job out there. I think St. Norbert's going to win. But I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, just jealous. I'm probably, probably biased, but I think all the different schools who've come out to support us and be part of this, and there's about eight different Catholic schools in our diocese who have been here, so thank you all for coming out to support us and joining us for Mass this evening as well. It's been a wonderful event today to support our Catholic diocese and the sporting events for our, for our youth. So it's been a wonderful day of celebration and joy and probably being able to do it again again. So I see some people here with some jerseys on. They've been helping us all day. Thank you very much. It's been a great event. So if you stop by, they have hot dogs and hamburgers this evening in their booth as well. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass has ended. Let us now go forth in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be to God. Now thank we all our God with heart and hands and voices who wondrous things hath done in whom his world rejoices who from our mother's arms has blessed us on our way with countless gifts of love and still is ours today all praise and thanks to god the father now be given the son and spirit blessed who reigns in highest heaven Eternal triune God, whom earth and heaven adore, for thus it was, is now, and now be evermore.